what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts and i'm here once again with some more with some more with some more attitude deserves more uh, uh, i don't know what i'm saying uh <laughs> Anyways, I don't know what I don't know what I was trying to say there. I was trying to do a um, not an Italian accent, but um, from wrestling back in the day when they used to talk, you know, they try to make everything sound so dramatic. Yes, I am here. Look at my arm; it is as big as your leg. If you know who said that, put it in the comment section. <laughs> if you know who said that um, back in the day in wrestling, put it in the comment section. You might win something. No, you're not going to win nothing. I'm sorry. Anyways, guys, we're going to jump in. Episode 9 of Season 1 is here, man. I am binging the shit out of this show right now. So hopefully I can get the rest of episodes um, ready. Yes, I am finishing Season 1 tonight. So, therefore, if you guys have not subscribed to the backup channel yet, make sure you get that done because... When these videos start dropping, the videos will be dropping. All right. Turn the notifications on over there as well. So, you know, when the videos come out on the channels and when they're out, when they're ready to be consumed. And if you can't wait, if you can't wait, okay, by the time you're watching this episode, all the episodes have already dropped on early access. So make sure if you want to see the rest of the season of my reactions, make sure you go and sign up for membership man it's only a dollar 99 us dollars so hey i don't know what translates to you in in your country what where you're watching this from but if you enjoy the sopranos man make sure you like the video make sure you leave a like all right i like likes it's free and it's cool all right let's get into the episode episode nine let's go Meadow is a goalie? Up, up, up. Coming through. I can't watch. Yes! There it goes, man! There it goes! Go. Brick wall, baby! Brick wall! Good save. Come on, now. Come on! Come on! Come on! Good. Look at you. It's girl <laughs> soccer, Tony. Uh, what do you want from me? My only son's a couch potato. Right! <laughs> what are you, yellow card happy? Rough play my ass! Hi, honey. Go get him, baby. This fat kid is such a sneak with that elbow. Coaches, next year, Chiara is going to be one of his stars. Come on, fuckers, let's pull it out, for Christ's sake. And the Dante, on the bucks for a goal. What's with Allie today? She's sleepwalking out there. Oh, she's she okay? Three nights a week, I know she's got the energy. That tackle is off wall, asshole. Yeah, Zebra, I'm talking to you. You blew that whistle one more time, I'm gonna stick it up your fucking ass! Get off the field! Now! Get off the field <laughs> or your team is gonna forfeit the game! Oh, I'm going! Fucking son of a Get off the field! <laughs> <laughs> Get off the field. <laughs> You're a hell of a job. Falcons! Falcons, heads up! Red, 42! 42! Push! Alley! What happened? Oh. I mean, I feel like I should be excited, but I should be worried. I hope the coach is not abusing her. Because she listened to him just now. I, I'm sorry, guys. If I... I'm sorry. When I see stuff... When, I'm, when I see stuff like that, that's where I usually go. Like, that's where my mind usually goes. Because she was just out on the field, like, 
lost. And one look at the coach, and she just dominates? If that's not kind of weird to you guys, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm hoping that's not the case. I hope that's not the case. I'm just saying that's where my mind goes when I see stuff like that because it's like usually if kids are depressed in any way and stuff like that, it's, you know, sometimes, you know what I'm saying, like the parents can't motivate them and stuff, and then all of a sudden just a random person motivates them. You got to be wondering what that relationship is like. I hope it's not abuse. I hope it's just admiration probably. You get what I'm saying? How chef and the dimples. We gotta come sample the salad bar. We got a special chemical brightener. It huh? keeps the lettuce crisp. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. The offer's still there. You wanna uh, make a little money? You put some out on the street at two points. We split the interest. Hey. I can't do the math, Tony. I'm an artiste. <laughs> Good job, girls! Mikey Palm East went out and got a major Manhattan PI. Mikey Palm East thinks someone here is riding for the government. What else is new? What else? My colleague over at Organized Crime Task Force gets chatty after uh, caffeine drinks. Names of people whose fiscal interests intersect with your own. Shit. Look, I'm still trying to find out if you've been there, all right? But these people, they are keeping these indictments very, very internal, Tony. For all I know, they got a folder with my name on it. And, and you know, if I was smart, I wouldn't even be here. Well, that's my case. As it is, I'm up the street in a rape homicide. What I need now is to see a liquor licensor, if you don't mind. So anybody wonders why I was here? Or for the lie detector test? Cha-cha. Show him the liquor license. Don't touch the girls. I'm sorry, he's in a meeting with Mr. Smith. Well, what's going on with the feds and their fucking indictments? Just put it right down there. That's just kind of weird how that went down, though, but we'll see. I don't want to minimize your position, Corrado. Two prior convictions. That places you in jeopardy of sentence under the habitual offender statute. I'm paying you four an hour to hear shit that's already eat my inside. Who had the pepper and eggs? Oh, over here. Peppers and eggs. That's what I should have had. I'd be happy to surrender, Mr. Soprano. You can be assured of my full cooperation. You'd rather they kicked in your front door in the middle of the night? It's a target letter, Corrado. I wasn't getting anywhere, so I asked him point blank what your status was. Just testing. That's what a good lawyer would do. So what'd they say? They'd let me know when it was appropriate. And they just stopped paying taxes. <laughs> Doc, look, we're fine. I'm sick and tired of sitting around on my hands. Uh, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Down to Boca with your lady friend? What the fuck you know about? <laughs> Works for the Joint Fitters Union, didn't somebody say? Runs their, uh, labor management fund outside the Fed's oversight. If you can't get your friends jobs, what's the purpose of attaining success? The wheels of justice turn slowly. Take her to Florida. Develop a tan. Where's the key to the partner's crapper? Top right hand drawer. Junior, we're working out of our fucking lawyer's office, is that right? Look, I didn't want to say anything, but this government's case, if there's a leak, it's in Tony's boat. You want to tell me my nephew's in bed with the Justice Department? Just say it. Don't stammer around like a fucking spastic. There's something fucking wrong with that guy. I feel it in my gut. I'm worried about you, Skipper. I'm sorry, Mikey. You're a good boy. You're just a hater. Fuck this. I'm going to Boca. <laughs> Bruh. Hey, if you're smoking, you owe me five dollars. <laughs> Is she cutting herself? Holy shit. Her parents split up. That's why she spends all her time in our house. But the kid was born with a silver spoon. Teenage girls uh. are under of stress. Uh, I know this kid. She was great. Was it a genuine suicide attempt? Or was it a suicidal gesture? Are you serious? She the cut a risk. Is the clinical term. What's large cutting? OJ in the missing tracksuit? I know. It's a cry for help. So it's not small cutting. Tried this before. A couple times. Ah. 
What else is going on in your life? Life is putting the Prozac to the test. It's all that business that keeps popping up in the news? I'd rather talk about my daughter. Principal says girls in sports, they do better. They don't take the drugs. They don't get knocked up. But not this shit. Mm. My daughter never tried to kill herself. Oh, God. <laughs> week I called you a whore. I might have been overstating the case a little bit. What did I say? Most patients or most situations like that, okay. they come and they they come back and they apologize because they know they overreacted. I it's. You yeah. I'm gonna take a walk. We'll be right back. You should get some shoes like this. I'll tell you something, Tony. You've always been a fucking genius, but this last movie is the best movie you ever did. The feds are never going to surveil an old folks home. Yeah, I know. That's why I got six truckloads of bootleg pilot coming in. <laughs> hey, Jay. How you doing? Did you get your mother settled into a suite yet? They're not sure they're going to accept her. They want to see my financial statement again. So this off a supply chain coming up from Virginia. What's the deal on him? I spoke to them. I think they're going to listen to reason on minority hiring. <laughs> Too many games? Yeah, there you go. He's leaving? What the fuck? That's not good. These higher goals, Giovanni. Eyes ahead. Energy, girls, energy. I know we're all upset about all that's been going on, but we still have a season left. Come on, let's go. Hey, coach. Hey, fellas. Uh, sorry, the practice closed today. I'm trying to keep the team focused. What are you doing? You leaving us? After two fucking years? I told that reporter to wait until after sectionals before he put that in the paper. Coach, look at my little girl out there. You're breaking her heart. Believe me, Art. I am hugely conflicted, but Rhode Island doubled my salary. They're giving my daughter a full ride. What could I do? They made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Yeah, well, you haven't heard ours yet. Hey, come on, Sue. Look, buddy, I got a family too. I happen to have a daughter who loves playing soccer very much. Are you just kidding about the offer? Is he? <laughs> hey, hey, nobody blew a whistle. Let's not get lazy out here. Come on. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Excuse me? Hey, Med. Let me tell your father. This is my field. Meadow, man. Give me she. Ten laps around the goal. Whatever. Make that 20. Anybody else want to mouth off? Meadow is out of pocket, bro. Like, bro, she is. Meadow is something else, man. I'm wondering if she knows something, bro. Gerardo? Yeah. Why the big secret? About what? All of a sudden. What's so terrible about pleasing a woman? You always have to talk about everything. Well, I want to know why. It's complicated. Yeah. But why? Why? Because they think if you suck pussy, you'll suck anything. Oh, you're kidding. It's a sign of weakness, and possibly a sign that you're a fanu. <laughs> a bag? Really? I never heard it like that before. <laughs> I mean, I've heard that people, like, guys that have their reasons for not doing it, but... Ali. Tony, look who's here. Alphonse, how you doing? Good. You feeling better? Yeah. I think there's something going on that, that as she is told no, it's okay, Mr. Soprano. Meadow about. I'm gonna play. No shit. Pardon my French there. Are you sure, Ali? Yeah, I, I had a long talk with Coach Hauser. And... I'm gonna play. That's all. 
I told her she didn't have to. Just said she wanted to. Yeah. Coach pressure you, Allie? No, Mrs. Soprano. You would never do anything like that. How the hell's he gonna pressure her? Didn't have to call you on a stick around and finish what he started. Dad. What? It's what we all wanted. There's something going on. I don't know what it is. But there's something going on that they're not saying. There's something going on that they're not saying, man. Good night. I don't know. I could be just misreading everything. Find him a TV. A little something from your friends at the Bada Bing Club. Brand new, surround sound, HD TV compatible. Well, uh, tell them thanks. Hey, this fucker's getting heavy here. If this is about Rhode Island, you can tell your friends it's a done deal. I already signed. I don't know what it's about, but the TV stays here. Put it down. Uh, 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 no, I mean it. Pick it up. Get the goddamn thing off my property. Look, pal, I don't think you quite understand. Oh, I understand, all right, only too well. You tell your friends I know all about it. If you did, they'd go what they want. <laughs> it's like threats. How quickly things change. Let me tell you something, Guido. My name is Clarence. I have friends in law enforcement, and they would call this extortion. Come on. You tell those assholes Don Hauser will not be intimidated. I will not be threatened or bribed. I go where I want to, when I want to. <laughs> Why are you crying, bro? <laughs> I know who that is, man. I just can't. I don't remember her name. Big game? Game? What game? This Meadow soccer team is going to the sectionals. Nobody tells me anything. Did everybody hear me just tell my mother about the game? Can anybody think of anything else to talk about except soccer? All right. Uncle June, how was Boca? Wonderful. I don't go down enough. That's not what I heard. About what? Nothing. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Last time, Aunt Bobby bought me live. Carmella knows? That woman is not your aunt. Libby, I warned you. It's not that easy. Bobby's a sweet, sweet girl. <laughs> what the hell's the matter with you? She what knows. She knows you go down there, man. <laughs> she knows. We just sat down. That's why every all of those are like puns. She's a sweet, sweet girl. back, you can go to the state. A girl slits her wrists, and all you can think about is a game. Well, it wasn't like freaking Cobain. It was just a little suicidal gesture. That's all. Miss Meadow, come back here. Hey, you're not excused, young lady. I'll let her go. Go ahead, honey. Ma. What you butt out? The only time you act like a grandmother around here is when you're gonna score some points. I will not eat in this house. Junior, take me home. I'm not finished. You mind your Uncle June, she'll come back. Stukas and messengers. They have command of the sky. I'm wondering if Meadow is just worried about her friend. No. I'm glad Meadow quit. That coach pushes him to the brink. It's unhealthy. I don't understand. Why would you try to kill yourself really because your parents split up? And that asshole, he thinks you can just walk away. Uh, I, don't... Cowboy, don't start. I don't know. What was with you and Uncle June tonight? Tony, you better not get in that coach's face. Come on. Tell me about Uncle stop June. It. No, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> I you can't. I, can't. I know you want All right, this. okay. Gabby Dante's cousin and Bobby go to the same nail parlor. And your uncle. No, I, can't, I shouldn't say. Come on, Tony, come I shouldn't. I shouldn't. <laughs> come on. Okay, okay. He goes to, to the territories. You know what I'm saying? I say, your uncle has acquired a taste for her. Uncle June gives head. World class. The old man's whistling to the wheat field. <laughs> Don't be disgusting. Oh, he's a bushman of the Kalahari. See, <laughs> you, you don't know when to stop. Oh, my God, if this ever gets out. Oh, yeah, like you could do it. Or any of your friends. A bunch of hypocrites. Hey, 
What goes on in this bedroom stays here, and you know that. <laughs> Once a year, I can resist the urge to cancel. <laughs> Once a year, bro. Bullshit. So I can't, I can't say she's wrong. She's annoying, but <laughs> she's not wrong. What? No, you're mistaken. My dog is upstairs. Golden Retriever? Blue Nylon Collar? Honey, who is it? Evening, ma'am. Who's that? He has our dog. Where is Petey? I thought he was locked in. Yeah, come get him. I won't want Petey to get hit by a car. <laughs> the subtle threats. <laughs> How the hell did they get a hold of his dog? No reward? Just kidding. I'm an animal lover. <laughs> you okay, boy? It's Thank like you. next, we come for the kids. <laughs> Tony, did you do something? What could I do? Point is, he's gonna stick around and finish what he started with the girls, that's all. That's it. Well, did I tell you? You need to develop some appreciation because you got people all around you trying to help you and all you do is bitch and moan. Now, There's I see something. This coach trying to abandon his team and I see your friends getting all worked up. So I try to do something about it. Is that why you think we're so upset, Dad? Because a coach and most of us can't even stand his leaving? So what, what, what difference does that make? You don't have to love him to be successful. Catfish Hunter hated Billy Martin. Bill Parcells, his guys, they can't stand him till they start to win. Coach Hauser had sex with Allie. <laughs> what? What did I say, That's man? What did I say? What did I say, man? What did I say, guys, at the beginning of the episode? I was like, that is too weird. That, that was just too weird, bro. And I'm sorry that my mind goes to those places about people or when I see certain kinds of interactions because I've I've seen what abuse looks like. I've seen the interaction be between young kids and grown adults. And when it's something is off, I, I, bro, I was like, I know this is a show, but they played that perfectly to set up the episode. They executed that the actors executed that perfectly because i was like that don't make no damn sense she i mean all of a sudden he just tells you to you know come on and you just immediately start acting like yourself like there's some sort of i don't know how to describe it but i was like something is going on because meadow is acting weird first of all she's always kind of acting weird but for the most part the way how she and Allie was in from that one interaction and then she kind of sounds like why would you cut yourself over your parents separated like it, it doesn't make sense unless you, i mean yes the cry for attention this episode was done brilliantly dude i'm not even going front it's herself that's why i've been practically living at her house all right hold on a Maybe. No, Tony's with Allie. He's gonna lose it, Middle, bro. This is horrible. This is also a very serious accusation. What exactly did Allie say? That they had sex more than once. That she's not a virgin anymore. All right. Now he's a very pretty girl. Maybe there was. Maybe there was some confusion. Maybe she Are you fucking it. kidding me right now, Tony? She looked like she was sophisticated in your guy's eyes. Dad. What? Tony, what if this had been Meadow? What kind of confusion? A girl that age? The coach should not have been in any position where there's even a remote possibility of confusion. Come on, man. I'm losing my fucking mind here. Tony, go downstairs, will you please, so me and Meadow can talk? Jesus fucking Christ! God, now what did I do? Meadow. Mom, I only told you we wouldn't make Coach Hauser stay here. 
but I guess it's a horrible, horrible thing. Um, she's in love with him, but he won't leave his wife. Leave his wife? Meadow. Now, Meadow, he didn't touch you, right? No. But what about Dina? If she finds out about her father, it'll totally destroy her life. Just tell Dad to let him go anywhere he wants, okay? She's in love. Well, that's not very uncommon, to be honest. That's the reason why she, like, oh, he's giving me acknowledgement, so she put on a show for him. You want to hear serious? You want to know what your wonderful fucking coach did? He fucked little Allie Vandermeer, and who knows who else he fucked. What are you talking about? Fucked? Yes, fucked. <laughs> That's crazy. That's why that kid slit her wrist, you stonard. And my daughter should know this shit? My daughter should have to think about that filth? No. No. That self It's that unbelievable, right? Girl's soccer teammate. Yeah. Evans, great for Christ's sake. Oh my god. Chiara, you drove her home from the supermarket one night when it was raining. Oh, my little girl. Fucking degenerate son of a bitch. He deserves to die. <laughs> Betraying children? Buddy, believe me. He ain't gonna be doing that shit no more. I guarantee you that. How old are they? I mean, I know they're. They're like seniors, but because they're looking at colleges and stuff. So they're, I don't know if she's 18 or not. Like, that's the other thing, too. No matter how you spin it, it's still not okay. Because you're coaching these kids, man. And they're still in high school. Like, you get what I'm trying to say? I don't care if she's 18 and she can give, she can give consent. Like, even in that situation, like, you still have to hold him accountable. He may not go to jail for it because she's of age. You get what I'm saying? Um, but it's just the accountability part of it where I was just like, this, this doesn't feel right. You know what I'm saying? Because I wouldn't like to know that I have an 18-year-old daughter that somebody who's coaching them in sport or, or one of their teachers in high school at the tail end they're having sex with like i could never be okay with that i'm gonna be mad as hell you get what i'm trying to say even if she, if if it's a situation where you know it's consensual and she wanted that now she's in love with him he's still an asshole for doing this because i'm trusting you with my kid every time i drop him off at school or whatever I'm trusting you with my kid and you over here like at all cost you should be trying to avoid this relationship. You shouldn't the, the fact that you had sex with her I mean a lot of time when when girls are virgins the first guy that takes their virginity you know they get attached. They get attached. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Like, that's where the mix-up is kind of like in my brain. I'm just like, she gave consent. She's a senior in high school, so I can't really be mad at him, but I'm still mad at him because Glad I did. he should not have done that. Hey, you shanked it, Jill. I still got the coach on my mind. We got fresh air. We got sunshine. We got a beautiful day. Forget about that shit. Thank God for golf some days. Trying to concentrate here. So, did you get any golf in down in Boca, Uncle June? Fucking manners, please. <laughs> you gotta talk, talk. Play, uh, manatee or what's that other one? Will you let the man tee off? You yap worse than six barbers. If you'd have shut up during that game against Mountain Lakes, you wouldn't have missed that fucking fly ball. I was ashamed to face my friends. Good, Mike. Better. What do you mean, better? Well, you know, better. Whoa, Junior. Oh, Junior what? Uncle June's in a muff. What? Oh, did I say muff? <laughs> I meant rough. <laughs> What 
What's that smell? Did you guys go to a sushi bar? What the fuck's he talking about? <laughs> you a bacala, man, Uncle June. What are you doing eating sushi? You fucking run off at the mouth, you know that? Down to the border. <laughs> down Mexico way. Hey, listen, my friend. At least I can deal with my own problems. Unlike some I know. What's that supposed to mean? Take it however you want. Don't bullshit with me. Hey, guys, guys. We here to play golf or what? Come on. You know, because Meadow was looking at colleges, I thought this was like, she's a senior. But I think she mentioned that she was a junior. Um, in that college episode. she with the sushi? I think. No, I, I don't know what he was talking about. He, uh, he babbles. He, uh, what was that? You're another one. Me? Hey, he completely lacked respect. Sick and tired of having to make excuses for him all the time. It isn't right. Of course, he's a fucking mental weakling. I know. You don't know shit, Mikey. He's seeing a psychiatrist, for Christ's sake. How about that, huh? My nephew is seeing a psychiatrist. Makes me want to cry. No shit. Indictment's being prepared. He's spilling his guts. I fucking knew it. No, you didn't fucking know it. I just told you. God knows how much of our family business he is. If the place is bugged, that stuff's not admissible. It's that, uh, that, that, that doctor-patient privilege, just like us in Melbourne. Melbourne's a lawyer. He's in a fucking ballpark. Suppose this shrink gets scared or something. Do you remember those two fucking Escobedo brothers who over to fucking California, they whacked their parents? The shrink was in a fucking witness chair. Shit. You talking about clipping him? Nobody would slap my wrist if I did. There's guys in prison that have done half the damage this prick has. The judicial system has gotten much better in dealing with sexual predators. Oh, yeah. Let's impeach him. If you're telling me of intent to harm this person, I must warn you of my duty to alert law enforcement. I don't know why I'd tell you anything. I'm interested in why you feel punishing this man falls upon you. Well, it sure doesn't fall upon you. What do you mean? What would you do? You'd call the cops. Who get some judge? Who give him psychiatric counseling? So maybe he could talk about his unhappy childhood, and and, and we could have sympathy for the fuck, because he's the real victim here, right? You know what you do? You stick your head in the sand, because that's what people like you do. Discredit psychology all you want, but I continue to ask the question: Why do you think you, Anthony Soprano, always has to set things right? It's a legitimate question. about the, the thing you know what nothing's happening here is it just gotta make the call i'm saving the moment you gotta call it off Mike, don't worry about it you got nothing to do with it you don't go nowhere near this i don't care about that it's wrong you can't do it it's wrong oh what he did isn't i'm begging you i hate the guy too what do you want to do, Artie? You want to call the cops? Hey, here's the phone. They'll arrest him, right? They'll get out in two fucking years, and they'll move up to Saskatchewan, and they'll get you know what they'll do? They'll teach girls soccer, and they'll start all over again. You don't think I want to rip him apart like a fucking chicken? I drove by his house. I almost got out. But you didn't. <laughs> Something happens to him. Who's it going to help, huh? His daughter? That girl? You, Tony, and Silvio, and me, and whoever. It's just gonna make us feel better. So don't even think about calling this justice. Leave it to the cops. Look, let me ask you a question. What the fuck do you think you are coming in here talking to me like this? <laughs> now, your boyfriend is finished. You deal with it. Okay? Tony, don't do this. This is me asking you. Why don't you get the fuck out of here? Come on. Get the fuck out. Go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Don't touch me, man. <laughs> Usually call me when you're this 
last night. I bought us some barbecued chicken, some salad, and some lemon meringue pie. Is she gonna? So is he gonna I kill her? Did I tell you to keep your mouth shut? What? Did I tell you to keep your goddamn mouth shut? No, Corrado, don't hit me. Stupid fucking blabbermouth cunt! I don't understand. Get your pencils and your crap and the rest of your shit. And don't be here tomorrow. Oh, oh Prado, Chelsea. I love you. Well, you couldn't keep it a secret, and that's 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 just women overall. They can't get, they gotta brag about their man, right? <laughs> It's like a woman telling telling their girlfriend that their dude got a big dick, and then when the when the woman try to steal their man, they're wondering why. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Leave it alone. Yeah. No problem. Son of a bitch. Lynn, we are here live as colleagues and neighbors were shocked to hear of charges brought against Donald Hauser coach of the Verbum Day high school girls soccer team. Alerted by a student friend of the alleged victim, whose name cannot be revealed because of her age, police issued a warrant for Hauser's arrest this evening. Yo. Tony, what is this? Oh, Jesus. Mixed with alcohol. Oh, Tony, that's wonderful. Happy trails. Here, let's get you to bed. Oh, man. I didn't hurt nobody. Well, the name of the show is The Sopranos, not so Tony no, Soprano, no, so. <laughs> Wow. What an episode. What an episode, man. From the setup, this sounds like they set they set it up perfectly. They set it up perfectly. Alright, that was episode nine of the Soprano season one, man. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say about that episode because that was probably the best episode of The Sopranos so far that I've watched um, because of how it was set up from start to the end, like everything just fell into place um, and it was just brilliantly written. The episode was written perfectly, like with zero flaws, in my opinion. They did an excellent job of, um, as I said, um, during the episode as I was like that just didn't it just didn't sit right with me you know what I'm saying and there's certain things that you see with certain interactions when it comes on to whether it be sexual abuse whether it be abuse in general you get what I'm saying it just feels like that you know what I'm saying like you just get this weird vibe the interaction between an adult and a and a, and a minor you know what i'm saying that just just feels off you know what i'm saying um if you've seen it enough times not just in movies or tv shows or whatever you know what i'm saying like in real life if you've seen it enough you can spot it from a mile away you know what i'm saying so i saw it and i was like i hope it's not abuse man and it turns out to be exactly that because it just the way how that interaction went down they were looking at it she was like what is wrong with this girl she's just like lollygagging on the field she's not running and then all of a sudden the coach just looks at her and be like come on and she just turns into supergirl and scores a goal
yeah that was really off and it turns out to be exactly what i was thinking um and then meadow was the one that kind of solidified everything it's just like said her parents are separated and i'm like that's not a reason kids lash out but suicide because your parents are splitting not even in a place for them to find you but in a totally random outdoor place you get what i'm saying like if your parents if you're going to use like an attempted suicide to get your parents um to like stay together or whatever the situation is as a cry for help you would do that in a place where they're present you get what i'm saying where they can see you doing this but she was with you know the other girls or whatever um man that was a that was a very as i said man this series is really surprising me because it's touching on a lot of things that i did not expect them to go you know from the get-go you know as i said i for thought this was going to be about the mafia stuff you know wise guys made men you know what i'm saying um from the concept of what i w was seeing that's what i expected this show to be about but as i said the show is called the soprano so it's going to involve the entire family and what they're involved with so it's going to include Carmela. it's going to include meadow it's going to include anthony it's going to include tony's mom it's going to include his uncle they're all sopranos so they're doing a very good job of portraying these characters and having them go through these character arcs as christopher <laughs> so aptly um introduces to as a concept you know what i'm saying um which is very good that they're kind of fleshing out these characters for us to really get used to them here in season one will will the uncle try to take out tony i think he will because they don't know exactly what's going on with him in therapy and now that you know mr cunnilingus over here don't want nobody to know that he eats pussy because oh it's a bad reputation it's not that big a deal they all pretend like they don't do it and this is something that you know is frowned upon from in my country especially you know what i'm saying from where i'm from which is in jamaica it's frowned upon you get what i'm saying like so i know but i've never heard somebody say that you know the I mean the reason why they don't do it is because you know um it's a certain way it's like a non-dominant position for a man and that's the reason why they don't do it in jamaica that because they don't they don't feel like they will be in charge like you're not supposed to be eating pussy you're supposed to be fucking it right so they don't that's the way how they view it right but we all know you do <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if you if, if you ask anybody, they go that. No, no, no. Uh, you know they don't eat it. They they will deny it till thy kingdom come. You know what I'm saying? But we all know we we out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know we 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 um we enter those playing fields. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We 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 um we we splash and we get the the job done <laughs> this is getting really awkward because i can't i can't find words to describe this because i'm just like bro it's, it's not that big a deal you know but they take it really serious back home it's a really serious thing even some jamaicans that you i don't even know if weird thought just came into my mind i'm not even gonna say it <laughs> but um yeah man awesome episode they did an excellent job of showing us what it's like to be um a soprano man you know what i'm saying and it's i'm glad that you know um whatever his name is uh you know i'm glad that he was able to talk tony down but tony's like oh i didn't hurt anybody and he you know he took pills drank alcohol with it you know what i'm saying because it's it's probably very foreign to him 
you know what i'm saying to let the cops handle it um and that's the way how it should be you know what i'm saying um as i said the therapist asked him a, a very good question like why do you feel like you have the responsibility to take care of all all of this or you you have to hand you got to be judge jury and executioner like why do you feel like you have to be that like that you know what i'm saying it's a legitimate question you know um so yeah man great episode um i'm you know if junior makes an attempt at tony that's gonna he's probably going going to probably use an outside source to do it he's probably not going to do it like Cause he's like, Oh, if I try to do that, you know, who's going to come at me? I don't have to answer to anybody. So, you know what I'm saying? It's like, nobody's going to bat an eye. Nobody's going to care. But yeah, the captains are going to care if they know it's you. Because the fact of the matter is you have zero proof that he, he's not telling anybody anything incriminating to incriminate himself or you guys, you guys think he's ratting out to the feds and all this other stuff. Like, it's just crazy to me. But in any case, guys, leave a like on the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of this episode, of course. And I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace.